What is up, homies? Welcome back to another movie reaction from Heroes Reforged. Tonight, we are watching Ron Howard's Willow. Very excited to check this yes. out. I have not seen this movie in a very, very long time. So this is going to be almost like watching it for the first time again. We're doing this mm -hmm. in anticipation for the brand new show that's coming out on Disney+. Plus. So we figured this was a perfect opportunity to revisit this movie to get the full context of what the story is, where the characters leave off before we meet them 34-ish years later. So mm -hmm. excited to jump into this. But of course, if you want to watch the movie along with us uncut go to patreon.com slash heroes reforged we've got uncut movie reactions for so many other films we've been watching including the blumhouse trilogy of halloween plenty of other stuff on there as well all the shows we've been watching as well so check it out subscribe if you haven't already if we haven't hit 100k at this point i'm gonna scream into the microphone <laughs> we are so close so so close <laughs> so 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 close but what's your guys I, relationship I'm, with Will willow i'm i'm very ready to take you guys on this journey because I have recently rewatched this movie and I saw it years ago. So it wasn't like mm -hmm. I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. I can't remember how long ago, maybe like 10 years ago, eight, 10 years ago. But I had, I've seen it as an adult. Then recently, because this show was coming out, my girlfriend wasn't aware of the show. And, you know, the announcements were happening at Star Wars Celebration and, and different things. Or D23, I think it was. Anyway, yeah. I showed her the trailer for the new show. And then mm -hmm. uh, we rewatched the film. And then learning that you guys haven't seen it effectively effectively since you were children, even if that you've maybe seen pieces here and there. This is going to be a trip and a half because this movie is very special. There's it's it's bonkers. <laughs> it's bonkers. It's okay. charming as hell. And yeah, there is yeah. a reason like I think there's reasons that it didn't become a monster mega hit, which I don't think it did. Like when you, we watch the movie, I think you'll be able to tell why. But then there's also mm -hmm. reasons you can clearly see why it is so beloved and why it's it, it basically basically became like a cult hit, a fan favorite, yeah. Um, yeah. something that was really impactful for people's childhoods. And now those yeah. children's have grown up and they're sharing it with their children's. So you can also see this is not something that people tell you, this is my favorite movie. And then you watch it and you go, really? Like when people tell you that they love Willow <laughs> and you watch this movie, thankfully you get it. You can see it. You know, it's 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 yeah. similar yeah. to Labyrinth or Dark Crystal or those kinds of movies from the 80s, that kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch it with you guys. It's going to be a blast. I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, I confused this movie in my head with Masters of the Universe for some reason. So mm -hmm. uh, I I essentially am going in blind. I, I, I've seen bits and pieces mm -hmm. uh, and it was all off of KTLA 5 back in the day, like when they used to show movies at night all the time. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Geology is a 15 time award winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Hype Beast, Birdie, Esquire, and Ask Men Grooming Awards. Geology creates simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Their products have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. For someone like me who naturally has very oily skin, being able to use Geology to tone that down, keep that in check, and to keep my face moisturized at the same time has been incredibly important to my daily routine. Geology also helps to fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles combat dark and puffy under eyes have smoother hydrated skin and target signs of aging how does it all work well it's simple go to their website take a 30 second diagnostic quiz and with a few clicks tell them about your skin and goals and their team of dermatologists will design a personalized routine just for you that is shipped directly to your door it is that simple right now for a limited time they're hooking you up with an absolutely insane offer user code reforge 70 they will give you an additional 70 percent off their award-winning skincare trial set and this discount stacks on top of their current sale price and that's not all on top of that they're giving you an additional bonus offer on one of their brand new skin, hair, and body products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you will see. Get it before it's gone. Thanks to our friends at Geology for sponsoring this week's video. Let's get back to the reaction. In three, two, one, go. It is a time of dread. <laughs> see, as I foretold the, foretold the birth of a child who would bring about the downfall of the powerful Queen Bavmorda. Mm -hmm. How do you know it's that baby? She bears the mark. No! They know because she bears the mark. Ethna, saving the day. Some kind of like castle dungeon midwife. The baby's like, the baby. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. This is the part where I'm quiet. <laughs> Who's anything? You're gonna take me to Guilo? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, we just decided the baby's Mexican. <laughs> yeah, the baby's Mexican. <laughs> I tengo frío. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'm a baby, but I'm cold, you know? 
Val Kilmer. Mr. Joanne Handsome Whaley. Val Kilmer. Oh, the hunkiest hunk. Oh, how cute. Bye bye. Oh. Have fun <laughs> on the edge of the cliff. <laughs> oh, she's about it. to get myrtleized. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dang, that lady. That's a real G right there. That lady's a gangster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll push it downstream. Don't forget we have a song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Willow, you didn't leave them alone by the river. Oh, you're sending Mama. That baby ain't going nowhere. Oh, you're lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya. Oh, Willow. I'm pretty sure the actress who plays Kaya is also back for the Willow show. Mm. Hey, I will not be ignored. <laughs> Mims. <laughs> yeah, you will be. Hello? <laughs> Willow up could go around that day, Keedy, didn't he? Get him! Willow, calm down. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, Hold no. Her. I don't want to, Kaya. Hold her while oh, I get no, some no. milk. Oh, no, no, oh. Daddy, she likes you. <laughs> Even with just a few scenes and, like, uh, not that much dialogue or exposition like it feels like the 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 willow home is full of love like these characters love each other yeah. you know even when kaya yeah. said calm down you're like she's so lovely this is so nice i think i just saw kenny baker i think you're right <laughs> all right that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> even, that, even that jerk ass <laughs> guy was like pretty good oh they got married Damn, homeboy's ripping. Ooh. Hey, uh, what? It's a good one. <laughs> hey, come here, you. <laughs> I, thought, I still thought it worked really well. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, he made it disappear. The power to control the world is in which finger? Which one do you guys think it is? Mm, I don't know. The stinky finger. The ring finger? No apprentice this year. Ooh. <clears throat> dang. It was a riddle. It's definitely a riddle. I like how the band was just waiting by. They're like, Either this is going to be happy, yeah. or it's going to be sad. <laughs> Shit, start playing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. The hog dog. <laughs> that looks kind of terrifying. Yeah, that looks God, great. Dude. Yeah, I Look think that looks this. awesome. Oh, no. It's yeah, so that sad. That kid is terrified. Mim standing there crying. That's the thing about, like, 80s kids movies is that they were harsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really scared the crap out of that little girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these guys are awesome. Yeah. Fearless. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh. Double tap, baby. Damn. <laughs> yes. No dogs or arms in making this movie. Mommy. Oh, no. Chicken, get out of the way, get chicken. Get out of the way, you damn chicken. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Adam, you got so scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't want nothing to happen. <laughs> we can't keep the baby, Kaya. We have to take her to the village council. No. Now we watch it and realize right, how much home. I don't really right, remember homie. about this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I that don't was remember my, that anything was, about this movie. That was my experience too. I think because I didn't watch it as a kid, so it didn't like imprint in my memory. Yeah, you know, like I didn't a watch bit older. it over and over again. Yeah. This child must be taken beyond the boundaries of our village. Well, who do that? <laughs> that was Kenny Baker, I think. I nominate Willow Upton. Yeah. This guy's a. Oh. I will consult the bones. I do that every morning when I wake up, and they tell me go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the bones. Great. He's... Do you have any love for this child? Yes. Willow's a great protagonist. Willow Lockgood 
The safety of this village depends upon you. Raise the bones! Raise the bones! <laughs> he's all sweaty. He's, he bugs me. He's all sweaty and he's a piece of shit. I hate this guy. This guy. I'll go with him. Awesome. There you go. Ah, Migos. His Migos. Samwise Migos. Gamgee. What was your first impulse? Fit my own finger. Aha. That was the correct answer. Aww. These will protect you. Anything you throw them at turns to stone. You don't need a lot more than that. You better give him a whole bag of those. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He got like two acorns. So Warwick Davis was 18 when this movie came out. Oh, 18. Okay. I thought he looked like he was like very young because yeah. I think in, yeah, that would make sense because Return of the Jedi was five years before this and he was a baby. I can be your guard and carry your spear. <laughs> me too, me too, dad. <laughs> yeah. This will bring you luck. <laughs> Her hair. That's a lot of hair, bro. <laughs> she like <laughs> cut off all her hair. Oh. 15 minutes in this movie and I'm already going to be crying over here. <laughs> yeah. It's Jesus. that kind of movie. It's just like a warm and fuzzy, you know, like this is definitely fellowship vibes right here. Totally. That's fellowship. Yeah. A hundred percent. This looks like it's like a combination of like matte paintings and like mm -hmm. practical I, I miniatures or something. I, I would like to see ILM do some new stuff, you know, not just Star Wars and yeah. Indy and now they're bringing back Willow, but like do more fantasy stuff. <laughs> 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 that's what you get burgle cut Bo that's what you get bubble butt his name's bubble butt not burgle cut uh, general kale at last my queen cool i have destroyed the castle at galador god damn basically skeleton destroyed a whole castle one day i fear your daughter will betray you oh i trust her loyalty more than i trust yours dang Ooh. Ooh. this lady's she she ain't about nobody I mean, that's just oh, yeah. Lord of the Rings imagery yeah, right there. It's awesome. Lord of the Rings, yeah. <laughs> Hector, do you happen to know off the top of your head where this was shot? Oh, I love that shot, too. That's a great oh, that's I think a it was, too. Wasn't it New effect. Zealand? I think this was New Zealand, but I might be confused. England and oh, okay. New Zealand and, oh. and Wales. And New Zealand, oh, okay. Right? okay. This music's good. It's like... It's heroic and sort of like hopeful, but also has these like terrifying moments of horror. Yeah. It's very foreboding. <laughs> Yo! Give me some water. Oh, Let me out of here. I'll take care of the baby. <laughs> how? how did they get that reaction from that kid? That was a good shot. Yeah. You stay here alone. We're going. You got a lot. Like a baby vomit <laughs> on you again. Oh my god. Is Someday, Burgle Cut. Oh, Burger Cut has a great, like, obnoxious laugh. It's yeah. great. Yeah, for real. For real. He's really getting under my skin here. See this acorn? I'll throw it at you and turn you to stone. There's a, a peck here with an acorn pointed at me. <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole. Mm -hmm. This guy's a brutal piece of shit, too. My name is Mad Mardigan. And you are, uh. No, me gosh. No, <laughs> oh, me gosh. Can I have some of that water? and I don't know what the budget was on this movie, but this is an impressive amount of extras. It, yeah, it gives you that dudes. feeling of like, yo, this is epic. <laughs> Mad Mardigan! You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me out of here, Eric. Give me a sword. I'll win this war for you. I still serve Galadorn. You serve no one. Sit in your coffin and rot. Dang. Ooh, Jesus. okay. That actor looked really familiar. I've seen him in something. Yeah, he looks mm -hmm. really familiar. Gavin O'Hurley. Oh, he was in Superman he was 3, in, uh, Superman 3, that's right. Yep. I feel better! <laughs> Jesus. Careful, buddy. <laughs> oh, good hey, Lord. Hey, 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 calm down, oh, yeah, buddy. Wait. No, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> too, too fast. Will, you've done the right thing. I 
want you to get home and bring your crop in. <laughs> Goodbye, little. The baby's like, I don't know about this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I don't know. I don't feel good. I give you my word of honor. He's just gonna punt that baby and run this yeah. piece of He's shit. <laughs> Did we do the right thing? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh my Jesus. god. That's <laughs> I stole the baby. I stole the baby. Yeah! What the hell? I definitely don't remember that part. <laughs> Ow! Brownies! Let's get out of here! Brownies. Holy moly. Oh, oh, lordy. Oh, no. That looked like it hurt. Like, legit looked like it hurt. I stole it from a stupid daikini. <laughs> Damn, that looks pretty good for being 35 years old. Yeah, ILM really did some impressive visual effects when it comes to yeah. the brownies. I yeah. They never broke the scale. That looks great, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, already better than cats, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Elora Danik has chosen you to be her guardian. All creatures of good heart need your help, Willow. The choice is yours. Okay, bye. How long will it take to find this Roselle? Not long. She's been exiled to an island just over those hills by the evil queen, Bav Morda. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty ballsy of them to try a tracking shot like that with vfx elements in the front mm -hmm. that, that was that yeah. was great use a love potion on her. Hey, give me the dust of Come on, get oh, they're like oh vaguely oh. french yeah, so yeah. <laughs> i think that's so funny <laughs> <Is it potion? laughs> jesus Ew. what did you just fall into i don't know yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right all right I do the same That'd thing. Be me. Hilda. Come on, guys. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Your wife's in the room, bro. Oh, beautiful. And you're very strong. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not a woman! <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. Oh my Jesus. god. This is the most chaotic sequence in this whole film. Oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Yep. People are going all out for, the, oh for their god. roles here. I get why people like this movie so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wild. I told you guys, it's crazy. <laughs> Who's driving? Okay, there you go. There you Ain't go. Ain't nobody below. driving anything. Oh no! Oh, oh Lord! Jesus! <laughs> God! Oh, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> This movie went from an eight to a ten to a fifteen. <laughs> Dang! They tracked that entire shot right there. That was great. How is that baby still in the same place? <laughs> that thing's that bouncing still all over the place. Yeah. Oof. In the nuts, baby. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. there you go. Oh, oh my no. god. Oof. Oh, dang. Nights with Ninja Stars. I love it. God damn, this movie is chaotic as hell. Yeah, it's, it's oh too my much. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah, Wilhelm. 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 Oh, man. You better clear out, Willow. We don't need him, Alora. Oh. You kind of do need him. Yeah, so it's like George Lucas never read Lord of the Rings, but somebody just kind of told him what it was about, and he was like, hmm. <laughs> 
No, right. that sounds pretty good. Just like the, just like yeah, the short like, version at a bar. I like the mm-hmm. sound of that. Just that like, sounds like it can make a good. fun movie it's, for a Lucasfilm. Yeah. But what if, uh, what if I added movie. even smaller people? God, it's a really a commitment to make those two characters like hop around I in know. scenes like that. I know. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But that's Lucasfilm, dude. They commit to. Yeah, we, we wanted to commit to really pushing yeah. the edge of technology. You know, concepts that's like why that. they're the best. So they never made a sequel to this movie, but <clears throat> after the movie came out, George Lucas had like a story idea and he teamed up with a author and comic book writer, Chris Claremont. Basically, all of the X-Men lore that we know yeah, of. Yeah, that's the are, X-Men guy. Yeah. Phoenix Saga, everything. And Chris Claremont and George Lucas together wrote a trilogy of books that were like a, a sequel series to the Willow movie. Mm. And mm. I have no idea what's in there and I have no idea if the sh- new show is going to like honor that or if mm, it's going to ignore based it. based off that. I've come to find the great sorceress, Finn Rizel. The princess has been born. Take me to her. Okay, I brought back a little marsupial. <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> oh no. Yo, Matt Mardigan kind of sucks. He's bad at. Yeah, he at, really at, sucks. At getting by. <laughs> he's bad at whatever he's doing. Oh no. This is the one we're looking for. Lose your skirt. What if in this kid's movie he just was like, fuck you, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. She knows me. Please let me take care of her. I don't need help from a peck. Fuck you then, lady. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just a rated R version of Willow. Oh, Aww. all right, Mad Mardigan. There you go. You're homies you're, now. You're, you're homies cool officially. Dude, Mad Mardigan. This whole thing stinks. Ignore him, Willow. If only I had a sword. If only I had a sword. Now, you need three drops of your blood to put in the potion. Well, you could have warned me. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, you could have said that. Did the green and then cry the blue loot? Oh, no. Leave that alone. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, man, Morgan. Let's get Lord Denon out of here. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's fucking roll out Let's of here. Go, dude. Let's get out of here, Let's brother. Go I think it, it's a tricky balance in fantasy to like establish the rules, but then also let anything be able to happen. And I feel like yeah. this movie yeah. tilts on the side of any kind of random stuff happens but it's charming yeah. and it's a, i forgive it it's fine totally yeah i'm really yeah. looking forward to the show now to see what the, what the sort of modern interpretation of this kind of thing is you know uh oh oh what's up he fell in baby? The, what's up bro <laughs> the keys milo the keys not, not the not keys the keys, <laughs> the keys. <laughs> milo <laughs> <laughs> Is the way. Come on. Oh my God. One move, jackass, and you really <laughs> My starlit sky. Without you, well in darkness. Why does Why does this potion turn everybody into Pepe Le Pew? Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you. Death next to love is a trivial thing. Your touch is worth a hundred thousand. <laughs> Enemies to lovers trope. Oh, now he's got the sword. Oh, just knocked down the whole tent. This movie's like, it hasn't been crazy enough in a few minutes. Yeah, so let's, let's get, get crazy. craziness, please. You see that? Nuts? Like Come with on. that, let's get that nuts. sword play? <laughs> yeah. Now practiced with this thing. He's good, man. Yeah, he's good. He's got it. <laughs> That sword had like blood on it too, right? Yeah. He's killing dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's slicing dudes. Look at that. That dude's guts are outside now. 1980s fantasy. Oh, I got a Clark W. Yeah. Griswold this thing. Here's the theme park ride. When a scene like this is in a kids movie. I feel like kids love that shit. I loved it as oh, a kid. Oh yeah, like any yeah. Kind of oh, yeah, absolutely. So thing. fun, hundred percent. Yeah. No, where did everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> How are they not frozen to death? 
it's not just sledding, but it's like the action scenes like bicycling or rollerblading or, you know, like those kind of silly high action. Yeah. Uh, not a yeah. lot of sticks, like not car chases, but like things that kids right. could do, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Wow. I mean, I'm pretty sure this was in Avatar, The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah. This is like one, they, fun one of the hell. first episodes. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 Jen, hey. I, Jen. <laughs> Look at Warwick. He's just holding on for dear life. He's like, okay. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not even him on, on that thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no. And the baby died, and that's the end of the movie. It's really sad. <laughs> and the baby's <laughs> dead. Directed <laughs> by Ron Howard. Da, da, da. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> so funny. Oh, oh, my God. This movie's ridiculous, and I love it. You almost got us killed. I love you, Sorsha. I don't love her. She kicked me in the face. <laughs> I hate her. Don't I? Don't I? <laughs> Uh oh, damn, these guys are fast. Jesus. Damn, they're lucky. I would have been like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you get out of that yeah. Rat trap. Oh, this guy. That's his homeboy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Sorsha. <laughs> Sorsha That's Roman. such an odd name, Sorsha. <laughs> nice. There you go. I don't need no big person's help. This theme is rousing. That's good. <laughs> oh, oh, got him. Ah, okay, okay. Dang. This guy comes yeah, out and like, I big, big stick to the stick. face. Let's go. <laughs> This is giving me Rings of Power vibes. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, they're all frozen. <laughs> Look at him just... <laughs> all in. Up. Oh, oh, damn. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fancy man armor. Okay. A Valorium. Green and... I... Willow, come on, stop getting distracted, let's, let's dude. Turn Willow, damn come tiger on, or man. Willow. You need to get Oh, man. No. Look at him. Look at that's, like when, that's like when Thor put on like his extreme armor. This this little bit in the music that James Horner's doing, this like those horns. That's classic James Horner what's going. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Ha, na, na, na. Mm. That That's what I was saying. It sounds Wrath of Khan. It, he uses it so much. Oh yeah, yeah, Wrath of Khan. Oh, oh what no! What the hell? What the What's hell? That? What the oh, hell that was that? Scary. Oh. oh hell no! Oh, That's no horrifying. Way. I definitely don't remember those. Oh, those would have terrified me as a child. I don't think I ever saw it this far. Oh. No, use the wand on that troll. It's a troll. It's a oh, troll. it's a troll. <laughs> That's, a, that's the thing that killed and, and Mad Mardigan yeah. stepped in it earlier. This is gnarly. Yo! What? what? Oh my god! Yeah, dude. What the hell? Rated Yo. PG. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it turned into a mega troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh, God. Absolutely not. That's what horrifying. The hell? He goes out with him. <laughs> this monster uh, looks like Mitch, Mitch McConnell. I don't like it. <gasps> nope. Absolutely not. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Oh, wow. It's like a, it's like the Willow version of a Rancor. There you <laughs> go. That little, oh. Yeah, they're home aloneing this. Just everything yeah. is going on. <laughs> everything is going on. 
Oh, oh it does damn work. It, Willow. Don't let it fall on the baby. Oh, <laughs> little trick or three. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I think it was like Chaka from. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, there you go. Yo. <laughs> Y'all just gonna bone right there, or she? She, she yep. does a great job of. Oh man, her acting—you really do buy that she like falls hard for this guy because <laughs> he's the sexiest. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. What the fuck just all. happened in this movie? I don't what even happened? know how that happened. I oh don't even know God. how that happened. How did that happen? They don't explain that. Now I understand why Lon loves this movie so much. <laughs> oh lord, is he holding the baby? Yep, he got the baby. Ragdoll. That baby's just... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the baby's like... sneaked right out of there. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh no, oh, oh no. Oh. Great acting. Oof. Yeah, I went from laughing to like, I'm gonna cry now. Can you ride? Let's go. Let's ride. Ride or die. Ride or die. Let's go. Let's go. It really is whose car we taking. Let's go. I have the child. <laughs> okay. They all raise of the these bridge. scenes yeah. just remind me of scenes out of Lord of the Rings. Like this is when they mm -hmm. all get to the the gates of Mordor. Yeah. This looks like Helm's Deep right here. Come on. Yeah, yeah it, Come does. On. it really does. Also reminds you of like Army of Darkness. Just all classic 80s yeah. and 90s, you know, all fantasy. the classic stuff. This is not an army. <laughs> You're not warriors. You're pigs. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I don't like that hand shot. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> like, all right, that's hey, that's look, the most powerful as far as villain. Like, yeah, as far as powers go, that's pretty rad. Wow! <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Holy crap! Rated PG. Parental <laughs> guidance I love suggested. This. I don't know, man. If they're only half human, half pigs, they probably are just stronger. Like, if I turned into half a <laughs> pig, we're gonna ram okay, your walls yeah. now, bitch. That wall. Yeah. Oh, they went full pig. Oh no, they went full pig. Oh, they're going they full went, like, pig. Full yeah. Farm oh. pig. Oh, yeah, they're going sad, full weird, farm pig. Okay, question for you guys: How old do you think a kid should be before they watch this? Because <laughs> the more we see from it. Yeah, the, the older it gets, I'm like, maybe like 29 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Armies turning into pigs. Are those the brownies? Are those the brownies? So, Ron, what do you want in this movie? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> Come on, Willow. Cool effects. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good transformation. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this was like there cutting you go. edge. Yeah, this effects. transformation yeah, sequence. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think people... I remember seeing that tiger thing in like a yeah. trailer or it was in, something. It was in the new ILM documentary that came out. Yep. yep. Uh, okay. Let them in. The pigs. Oh, just like one, one at a time. You're gonna make the army yeah. go back to man. Yeah. There's you don't a have baby the time. about to be killed. <laughs> you don't have the time. Hey, you better. Lady. You better copy paste. Copy paste. <laughs> copy paste this thing real quick. To that baby's throat right now. It's about to be the curse of Thorn. They're about to birth a new Michael Myers. Ew. Ew. That's what that Halloween movie's about? All right, I look forward to it. Okay, great. <laughs> cool, I keep forgetting cool, you guys cool. haven't seen it yet. But Mordor's too powerful. She cannot transform you again. My spell is protecting this camp. But can your magic get us inside the fortress? Hey, lady, you were talking a lot of shit before <laughs> about I can destroy you her all of a sudden I can't break in. For the last what 90 the minutes. I'm going to fight. 
It was certainly, yeah, you don't know how to get into this castle, you or what's up? Human. Me too. This cut to dissolve, I'm like, how long is that spell? Your children will come to remember this day. And so will Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the baby, or we'll destroy you. <laughs> it's a good laugh. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> Not very clever, though. Kill them. <laughs> no. Courage, Willow. Oh. Oh. Dang. I think this is Val Kilmer's like fourth outfit. <laughs> uh, Second Wilhelm. Another scream. Wilhelm. Oh my gosh. That baby doesn't know it's in a movie. That's just a crying baby. <laughs> no, yeah, that's just a sad <laughs> baby. Oh no! Ooh. They got bubbling, boiling oil. Oh, that's not. Oh, where that was? It didn't look good. good. Guys, guys, bro, you know bro. you could be stabbing the baby. Hurry! Whoa. Yo. <laughs> nice kick. Damn. She, that was a kick. The face. she followed through with that one. Oh. Whoa. She's about to get Gandalfed. Oh. We're about to see a wizard duel. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Third That's pretty good. Wilhelm scream. Sweet. Oh. Okay. It's just like hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, and it's okay. crazy because this show's going to have the budget to do so much. I know. I yeah. know. I, I am really looking forward to seeing... <laughs> What the show? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's Gandalf and Sauron. Yeah. You know, get up like Michael Myers. Yup. Everybody knows it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Ooh. Go get the baby. Get the baby, Willow. Whoa. Oh, Yo. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that looks great. Oh, oh that's just a cool. walking bag of bones. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no, no Eric. Spit yeah, spit in his oh, face. Oh no. Yep. 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 Eric. Take my sword. <laughs> Get his ass. <laughs> Man, that's the light reflects really nicely on that Agon. golden armor. Oh, he's got that full on. Yo, you done. I'm gonna make a sound out of you, Oh, Kale. damn. That's cool. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, good hit, good hit, good hit. Oh, God. All right, all right, Guilo. Take out the legs. Oh, nice, the legs. The legs. nice. He watched Karate Kid for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 got him. That's a dull that doesn't have a tip on it, though. No. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, this guy's not going down. Oh, oh. jam that, jam that sucker in there. <gasps> Oh, 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 damn. That one was like, that one was red for cool. his pleasure, too. That was like, that was, yeah, really good. Good. <laughs> that was a, oh, no, oh, no. 
And choking? Come on, wizards. My baby dish. <laughs> oh no. Who are you? I will up. That's right. Oh, the acorns. I'm the greatest sorcerer. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>. nice. <laughs> I think you only oh. have to. Oh no, she reversed it. Oh, that's a that's a hell of an she, that's a hell of an Uno reverse right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swapped it out for something. I hope so, because that's a fake looking baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the fakest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> good trick or three, good trick or three. Oh no, she dropped all her punch. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> the Kool Aid, Wait, what's happening? Ya. Oh Jesus. God what damn. is this? She's hitting them heavy metal like rock notes. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, lady, you look like shit. <laughs> yeah, lady, you got tore up. <laughs> oh. Well done. Yeah, let's get you some medical attention, <laughs> Rizal, you let's, are. let's get some dry clothes. You are on your way to becoming mm. a great sorcerer. Mmm. I bet you that book is going to appear in the series. Well, I think Willow's going to be the greatest sorcerer by the time we but, see him in the yeah. series. 34 years later? Come on. Yeah. What yeah, a hunk of Val Kilmer. God damn. I know. I know. Guy, that, Val should have kept that long hair. In your mouth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank Revenge. you. That's what that guy deserves. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know who that hey, lady crying was. Too. That, lady, too. That, that, that lady must be Kaya's best friend or something. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great matte painting there. Yeah. It's great. It's so good. Yeah. Fun. Da, 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 da. So <laughs> I, I know I was telling you guys about the book that was like the sequel series. I should look it up, but it, the book was apparently about Alora, the baby, like grown up. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. and, and I think it was about Mad Mardigan and Sorsha's child. Like they stayed together and were married. Oh, OK, and that's cool. Ruled mm -hmm. the kingdom or whatever. Let me double check here. Let's see what I can find here. Yeah, books. I know Joanne mm -hmm. Wally's yeah. in the uh, series and um, they've talked about how um, obviously because because Val Kilmer can't speak anymore. It's supposed to be some sort of like integration of Mad Mardigan. I'm sure in some I'm sure. way, mm -hmm. but we don't we don't know how so yeah. it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see the continuation and to see what characters, you know, if some, yeah. some more of those actors come back or, or right. whatever the case might be. But this was really fun. Like it's a really yeah. fun, yeah. even though it is kind of like violent and a little gruesome. Sometimes it is mostly, <laughs> gory, yeah. yeah, it's mostly just like a really fun adventure, like fantasy adventure story. And I feel like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I would like to see more of these types and not that we don't have them, but Something that yeah. is that like this that is just kind of like I don't know. It doesn't really require you like it's not so like lore heavy. It just kind of tells you exactly mm -hmm. what you need to know in the context of the story, and that's it. You don't need to know yeah. so many like layers yeah. of storytelling. Mm -hmm. I guess just nice. Yeah, and, and didn't have six endings and twelve post credit scenes. Like yeah, you don't need to, to watch point. after the credits, right? It's just like they're, it's they're, done. It ends in a high five, and everybody's good to go. Yeah. Like what else do you mean? I, I, I am such a fan of the Lord of the Rings, but there is something mm -hmm. like the thing that I love about Willow and like it's the advantages I'll give it is that, yeah, it mm -hmm. feels like it is 
all three of those movies in one movie. You don't have to yeah, right. invest super, super a lot of time or, mm. or like you guys are describing, like be super invested in the lore. Also, frankly, the script, I think, and the story at times it's kind of rushed and sloppy a little bit. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I, like I, right. like I was mentioning when the, the moment where Razelle like bites Willow and he's like, ow, what'd you do that for? And she's like, well, you need three yeah. drops of blood. Just kind of making up the rules yeah. as we go. Right. Right. right, right. And, as and you go along, mm -hmm. as you go along and it's the, the movie is so charming and you're so into it that that stuff doesn't matter. But right. if other movies came along, other stories came along and they were, they did that same approach. You, I think you can very easily lose an audience. You know, I, I think that there's a lot in this movie that is like generic fantasy. It mm -hmm. was reminding us of other fantasy movies, fantasy stories, whatever the thing is, almost like cliche mm -hmm. tropes in fantasy. But the thing that makes this movie special still, and it holds up, I was seeing you guys get sucked into it. Is it like Warwick Davis is special? Totally. He is charismatic. His performance, you believe it. You believe the people in his village, you believe Migosh is his mm -hmm, friend. You believe mm -hmm. his wife loves him. You believe his kids love him. So that's what, you know, sets it apart. And Val Kilmer has that great Han Solo energy is also is, is also what makes this movie special. All the rest of it, the other, like the queen and the, and the baby prophecy and the wizards and the, you know, all that stuff, like the big creature monsters that look like Mitch McConnell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like we've seen that kind of stuff in other types of stories. So this movie. Yeah. I think the reason it's memorable and people really kind of keep coming back to it is also anytime I've ever heard anybody talk about this movie, I feel like the first thing that they pull up outside of Willow, the main character Willow, is they go, oh, Mad Mardigan. Like they remember Val Kilmer's character's name. Right, 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 you know? right. Mad Mardigan. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I feel like most people, most general audiences probably couldn't name every character in the fellowship in The Lord of the Rings. But you're, you're going to know Frodo and Sam and Gandalf and All Gimli and Legolas. Mm -hmm. and, Right. Those kind of main guys and certainly could not name all of the dwarves in the Hobbit movies, all 12 of them, whatever they are. Yeah. But no. Yeah. People know Willow. People know Matt Mardigan, because I think those characters are like the real secret sauce of this movie. And it, yeah. it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how because, dude, the show is going to be this world, but with just the resources, the resources, mm -hmm. not just visual effects, <laughs> the, but budget, like, the budget, the budget, yeah. the writing, the, you know, I don't know how this movie came together script wise and story wise in the eighties, but now you have right. the opportunity to like, to really flesh it out. And, and it's not for a theatrical release. It's for Disney plus streaming. So maybe we're going to get more time yeah. per episode. Mm -hmm. I'm just so looking forward to it. It's going to be so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, I keep coming back to this over every time I see one of these older movies, there is a particular kind of charm. I like to call it magic. It's not magic, but it's like a particular way of filming the way they told stories. They weren't super concerned with, there's just something like they, I, I guess it's really just a heavy character focus and making sure that like you like the character that you are watching for the whole movie and anything can happen. Like there was no need to explain what happened to that troll that got zapped and his two heads came out of the thing and it fell in the water. Like we don't need to explain why it happened. It's just a spectacle. <laughs> like it's just a crazy thing that happens. And suddenly there's a monster on screen. Right. And I think there's something charming about that. I think there's something um, exciting and it's what makes a, a story feel kind of um, not impromptu, but kind of like surprising. Like, uh, mm. like there's stuff that you didn't expect because they didn't have any foreshadowing for it in, in anything. Like there was no foreshadowing that a troll would turn into a two headed dog, Mitch right. McConnell beast. Right. Right. So, right. Like we or didn't, we, other, did, we other weren't than, concerned with that. And if that moment was supposed to be like, Oh, Willow himself, like messed up the spell. It wasn't super mm -hmm. clear. And then even right. that same, like even in a moment after that, when he's hanging on to another troll, like all of a sudden yeah. the creature comes and just bites that troll and you're kind of like, well, where did yeah. Willow go? Like physically in space. Yeah. And then they just show him like hanging yeah. onto a wooden pole. And it's those <laughs> right, kinds of right. details where you're like, it's all not super clear, but it That's doesn't fine. matter. Right, right. Because you're kind of invested in the scene because it's so bad shit crazy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like if as long as you care about the characters, that's what, again, I think that's, you know, and I think in the beginning you were saying the rules are kind of unclear. And I'm like, you know, that's pretty OK with me because yeah. the story just kind of says like, oh, I'm a wizard and there's magic. And it just kind of basically it tells you tells you exactly what you need to know. 
That way, yeah. I feel like for them, in terms of like quote unquote rules, mm-hmm. they can bend them in any which direction they want. And exactly. They don't have to be beholden to some sort of a rule book. Well, on mm-hmm. page five of the script, we said that blah 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 blah, which means on page right. fifteen of the script, we can't right. blah 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 blah. And it's at a certain point yeah. when it's when it's fantasy like this, especially when mm-hmm. in the eighties, you know, I feel like generally speaking, people were kind of more forgiving, and they're more about they're less about the rules of the movie, and they're more about do I care about the people on the mm-hmm. on the screen? Mm-hmm. And if you love Warwick Davis as Willow and if you love Al Kilmer as Mad Mardigan and you love all the characters and you're invested in the adventure and the fun and the music right. holds you right. the chaoticness of all the action if you find it <laughs> gripping and there's like wheels falling off carriages and carriages breaking yeah. and horses running and all that shit yeah. then I feel like oh did we justify whether or not the whole troll could turn into a big two-headed like right. demon thing <laughs> right nah, exactly exactly it doesn't like matter we, no so it does make me wonder about the series and whether or not they're going to feel any sort of like modern day filmmaking pressure to establish more of the boundaries of the world or if they can, if they still feel like maybe they can leave a little bit of a gray area. So it has that unpredictability where we can just kind of let them dictate what we need to know. Yeah. And if there is yeah. some sort of like movie rule, then they can just explain it in a few words and then we can move on mm-hmm. and just focus mm-hmm. on the story because i can't yeah, care I think, about that more i think that's important actually that's where i was going too because i don't want them to build the willow cinematic universe i don't need mm-hmm. that like mm-hmm. let me care about these characters as much as i cared here and we'll go from there almost make, make me feel like you're making it up on the spot but like th- because that's kind of what w- what it was in this movie it almost feels yeah. like they were just like let's throw ideas out here and then mm-hmm. we'll you know we'll see what's going on but we need sidekicks and we need a main character that people love and that's kind of it, you know, yes. and that's kind yeah. of the, the magic sauce, I think, because if you look at George Lucas's other movies, that's what it is. Like, give me a main character that people love. Give me mm-hmm. a dope sidekick and then we'll build like some other, you know, some other people around that. And that's yeah. really the story. What happens around that is all just like the character's journey, really. Um right. mm-hmm. But I, I, yeah, I don't want them to go too deep into the the mechanism of what makes magic work and mm-hmm. like the yeah. no, thousand no. years before Willow right. and or whatever happened. I think and I'm I sure think that's part of like the 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 disadvantage of Star Wars in some ways because mm-hmm. the lore has been so built out. Yeah, that yes. Yeah. A lot of times when people have conversations about Star Wars, I feel like people just forget. Yo, man, this this dude made it up. On right, a, right. You know, <laughs> he didn't have any rules. He was like, well, Anakin Star Killer. Yeah, he'll become the villain eventually, and uh, the kid yeah. named uh, Luke Skywalker. Yep. He'll be the hero. <laughs> oh, what if I rewrote it and their father and so, like he made it all yeah. up. None yeah, of that lore yeah. is like this most like thought out. You know, no. it's it just mm-hmm. that's why sometimes the conversation around things like star wars and even superhero stuff i'm just like oh god we're so it's like silly bolted it's down silly. by the <laughs> lore and all that but like yeah. Yeah. it was just like just go have fun make a fun fantasy yeah. right, have an adventure. right right That's I, it. I am so excited to watch the show with you guys do you guys feel like you are now prepped and ready to go for the series oh, yeah. i mean what else do i need i'm good to go <laughs> you <laughs> just need willow. one movie and you're good to go <laughs> yeah i saw willow okay I'm good to go. that's gonna um, be up next and uh yeah i mean this also just like i said wet my appetite a little bit for some of the other classic movies that i grew up with and Mm -hmm. have seen recently and maybe someday maybe next year i don't know maybe we can go and revisit like conan and like yeah that'd be fun red sonia conan all that good terrible movie red sonia so bad but sure let's watch it (laughs) we gotta Um, we gotta turn these nights into like can we include alcohol we gotta include alcohol i gotta do that yeah yeah. why i didn't do it you know what we need to do is turn these movie nights into like let's all sit in a room together and watch these movies. There I think go. that's what it's got to turn into. There you go. A, we should. There yeah. you go. There you go. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. Big TV, three D, three D TVs, even. Mm-hmm. Like we'll do like it. it. Well, maybe we'll change the format next year. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but of course, let us know what you thought about the movie. Will, if this is your first time or hopefully second time watching at this point, what you're excited to see in the series? What are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. Check out the uncut reaction on Patreon. We'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.